guys welcome back to my channel scale bella with exp realty in las vegas now if you guys aren't subscribed do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification button and i'm going to be giving you guys more content every week let's get on with this tour all right guys so we are here in the northwest side of town we're in centennial beautiful location you guys we're actually very close to these um mountains over here now this community that we're touring is a uh, by pulte so pulte is the builder the community is called val ridge at sky hills uh, we'll go ahead and check out these two model houses today um, something you guys need to know about this community is that the hoa total is about 102 dollars a month okay now these houses are gonna they're going to range from about being 2,800 square feet to 3,400 square feet. Now, the lot average lot size is going to be about 5,500. So if you're trying to build a pool, there's enough room to build a pool. All right. So first, we're going to go ahead and tour this model right here, the San Remo. You guys, I absolutely love this model. I definitely would move into this house. So I'm really excited to show you how cool this house is. Um, a little bit about this house is going to be about 3,100 plus square feet four bedrooms, two and a half garage, I mean, two and a half baths and three car garage. Now it's gonna be a tandem garage. So um, I'll show you guys that. It's gonna be a, a three tandem, okay? So, all right, let's take a look. All right, so, wow, this is very nice. This is foyer right here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys around real quick look at that this is an amazing floor plan i would definitely definitely consider moving here all right beautiful living area kitchen all right so let's go ahead and just start out in the front cool so <clears throat> Uh, one thing I want to mention to you guys before we get started is if you're interested in a new build, please take your realtor with you the very first visit. Otherwise, if you go to the office, they won't let you be represented and you want to have somebody that, you know, will be there for you to hold the builders accountable. So this is the den right here. Now, I believe the den is, give me one second. So this is about... This is about 11 by 12. All right. Now, as you can see the baseboards, it's gonna be like the, you got the five inch baseboards, but standard is a three and a half inch baseboard, you guys. All right. So this is the entry, this is where we came from. We got the door to the garage right here. And got the powder room, pedestal sink. Now also with the flooring, you guys, as you can see, this is upgraded flooring. Now what comes standard in any new built house is you're only gonna have hard flooring in the wet area. So that's gonna be the bathroom, the laundry room, the entryway, the kitchen. Now it's not gonna be this flooring as well. It's gonna be an 18 by 18 tile, ceramic tile. All right, so we'll check this out right here. This is nice. Now this, you guys, this would actually be the tandem garage. So right here, over here, you'd have your two car garage, but this could actually be the tandem. So here, we'll take a look. This is pretty cool. All right, so here, let me go ahead and give you the dimensions here. So, so this is actually uh, 10 by 19. So it's a pretty uh, big room. All right. Now the first floor and the second floor is gonna have nine, nine foot ceilings that come standard. Wow, this is just very nice. I know, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this house so far? Do you guys like this? 
Now, I don't know if I, I think I forgot to mention, but the base price for this house is 565,880, okay? Now the average lot square feet, um, I mean, I'm sorry, the average lot premium in this community is gonna go from 45,000 plus. So you would add that to the base price. So if you, ha if you have the 565,880, you'd add in the $45,000 for the uh, lot premium, you'd be at 600. Look at this kitchen, you guys. Amazing kitchen. Um, countertop, we have about three and a quarter inch. Now these cabinets right here, you guys. Now this is upgraded 42 inch cabinets. Typically you'd get the 36 inch cabinet. <clears throat> You'll, you, you will have the Whirlpool package. So this 36 inch uh, built-in grill top does come included as well as this Whirlpool hood. guys we got the undermount single basin and then we got the upgraded uh, shower uh, faucet right there whirlpool refrigerator this does not come included you guys you guys would have to buy a refrigerator all right this is the pantry pretty decent sized pantry now this does come included. It has the built-in oven and microwave right here. So, I like that. Comes standard in Pulte, which is really, really nice. Now look at this high ceiling, you guys. Very nice. As well as the, uh, the, sliding, the sliders. You got a lot of light. Now this, you guys, this will be an upgrade. Um, standard comes two windows right there. Okay. Let's see, you have pretty good backyard space here. Now I think this backyard is actually gonna be a little bit bigger than the lots that will be released, but you know, it's about 5,500 for the average lot square feet. Got the eight feet sliders and the covered patio. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a look upstairs, you guys. Beautiful home. So we have the laundry room right here. Now, when looking at this room, the cabinets, that's optional. That's an upgrade. Um, also, it does not come included with a washer and dryer. I only wish that the washer and dryer was upstairs. That'd make it a little bit better. How do you guys feel? Do you guys prefer the washer and dryer downstairs or do you prefer it upstairs? I personally like it upstairs. All right. So we got some storage space right here. All right, let's take a look upstairs. Now what comes standard, you guys, is this railing right here is really nice. It looks really good, but it's standard is a pony wall. So as you can see, they went with a full on upgrade right here. It's a pretty expensive upgrade too, you guys. I mean, my guess is it'd be at least 12 to 15,000 to do this. Now immediately to the right, we have the primary bedroom and the primary retreat right here. Now, just so you guys see the location, we're like right by the mountain. So it's really nice over here, really peaceful. And I don't know if you could see right there, strip views, which will look really cool at night. Beautiful bedroom, a lot of space. Wow. Look at this shower. That's really nice. Definitely an upgrade for sure. All right, so we got the two sinks. 
hard closed cabinets, undermount sinks. You got your uh, toilet room right here. And then we have your closet space. So it's a good closet for sure. All right. Also, you guys, we got nine feet ceilings upstairs as well. So it comes standard. You get nine feet ceilings downstairs and upstairs. Look at this loft, you guys. It's a pretty decent sized loft. Now, you do have the option to, you can make this a gathering room, but I don't know. This looks really nice by itself. So, you know, a lot of openness to it. All right, so we'll go check out the, I believe it's, we got three bedrooms over here. So we got the bathroom. We got the fiberglass tub here. We got the culture marble. Okay, got the double sinks cultured marble countertop. All right. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this floor plan, you guys. This is super nice. Okay, so this is a queen size bed right here. So as you can see, plenty of room. And then we got the two bedrooms over here. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Got a little community park over there for the kitties. Transfer grill, regulate the airflow. And then this is the other bedroom. Okay, looks like it has its its own shower here. Beautiful neighborhood, very quiet. I actually might consider moving here, no joke.